Hello, I'm Peter Shea Jr., President and CEO of JF Shea Co. Inc. Every year we come together for a week devoted to improving safety across the industry. In today's segment, which is themed Be Safe, Be Well Rested, we will focus on sleep deprivation and we will review some simple things to improve quality of sleep, overall well being, and ultimately safety on the job. According to a recent report from the National Safety Council, 100% of surveyed construction workers had at least one risk factor for on-the-job fatigue, increasing hazardous site conditions and risk of injury. Of those surveyed, 71% said lack of sleep negatively impacted productivity, and 45% claimed work-related incidents were directly correlated with worker fatigue. So let's review some simple things we can all do to improve our sleep. Number one, exercise. Being physically active during the day can help you fall asleep more easily at night. Much of our work requires physical labor, and many of our team members remain active while at work. But if you work mostly at a desk, take time periodically to get up, stretch, and walk. Consider an exercise routine in the evenings when you get home. The more energy you expel during the day, the easier it is for your body to enter a deep and restful sleep at night. Number two, food and beverage. Avoid eating heavy meals with high protein content before bedtime. This can increase the risk of indigestion, making it more difficult to fall asleep. Resist the urge for a nightcap before you go to bed. Alcohol may help you fall asleep, but its effects will have you waking up frequently throughout the night. Finally, avoid drinking coffee and energy drinks within six hours of bedtime. Caffeine stays in your system for many hours and can affect your ability to fall asleep well after your last cup of coffee. Number three, sleep routine. Keep your bedtime and your wake time consistent. Even on the weekends, avoid taking naps or sleeping in. There's really no such thing as catching up on sleep. Consistent sleep intervals help keep your body in a reliable routine of rest and rejuvenation. For those who work nights, do your best to keep a consistent sleep schedule as well. Avoiding bright lights or sun exposure after your shift as it will make it easier to fall asleep. Number four, sleep quantity. The Center for Disease Control recommends adults ages 18 through 60 should aim for an average of seven or more hours of sleep per night. Those who are 61 and older should aim for between seven and nine hours each night. No matter what hours you work, make it a priority to get the necessary amount of rest your body requires. Number five, sleep environment. Your bedroom should be a relaxing place, free of distraction and noise. Avoid screen time such as TV, phones, or iPads, a minimum of 30 minutes before bedtime. If you work nights, use blackout curtains and keep it cool. Studies suggest that deep sleep is best facilitated at temperatures around 68 degrees. My name is Jason Butler. I'm a civil foreman for JF Shea Construction. In order for me to have the proper rest to do my job when I have four and five hour commutes, I choose to stay down here during the week to get the proper rest I need to perform at the highest level on my project. At the end of the day, do what's right for you and your family. Just be smart and be safe, guys. We build a wide variety of infrastructure projects that support the quality of life for all who benefit from them. Our work requires a talented, dedicated, and focused workforce, and our physical and mental health is an absolute priority. But sleep deprivation can harm our health, reduce our performance at work, and negatively impact our overall quality of life. If you're concerned you may have a serious problem regarding sleep deprivation, please consult your healthcare professional. We hope this video has offered you some valuable information that will help you to be present, to be focused, and ultimately to be safe. Sleep well, everybody.